Welcome back to Ask Endocrinology channel. Today, we are here to talk about our bones. Do you know that if your bone become weak, it can be harmful? And there is actually a medical term for this. And that is called osteoporosis. So we are here today to talk about what you can do to prevent your bone from getting weaker as you age and what are the things that can make it weak and what treatment can we do to or can we recommend that will really help us to remain strong as we grow older so today we talk about osteoporosis so hope the floor is yours hello how are you today i'm dr hope thank you so much dr grace so as you've heard today, we will be talking about your bones. Um, so we'll talk about osteoporosis. So let's start off with what is osteoporosis, right? Um, so let's just talk about what happens with our bones naturally. So our bones normally, it's constantly in a stage of absorption and replacement of bone tissue. Uh, that is just a normal process that our bones go through. Um, in osteoporosis, the new bone creation doesn't keep up with the old bone removal. And that takes over and therefore the bones become weak and brittle. So osteoporosis is a, a condition where the bones are actually weak and brittle. Uh, there is a stage prior to osteoporosis called osteopenia. Uh, it's not quite um, defined as osteoporosis, but it's a stage that progresses or can progress to osteoporosis where the bones become so weak and brittle that they can actually break. Um, so if we have osteopenia, it's important to know that so we can try to uh, adhere to some uh, practices that would actually decrease our risk of becoming osteoporotic. So what are some of the signs of osteoporosis? Um, some of the signs include back pain. Um, back pain could signify a bone fracture, um, and that could be caused by collapse of bone uh, in, the, in the spine area or in the back. And, you know, that could be very painful at times. Um, other sign is loss of height. <clears throat> Sometimes you see, uh, you know, people might be a little bent over. Um, that could be a sign of osteoporosis or stooped posture. Um, so loss of height, the stooped posture is actually when they're bent over. The loss of height, it's just you're shorter. You go back to your doctor, the doctor measures your height, <clears throat> and it's a little shorter that it, than it was previously. And um, you wonder, well, you know, we don't get shorter as we get older. We, we usually grow, right, uh, as children and uh, teenagers um, to a, a height, and then uh, we stay at that height. But what happens if you find that you're losing height? Could be a sign of osteoporosis. And then bones that just break easily. Um, those are some of the signs. Um, so how can we, um, uh, well, let's talk, talk about what are the risk factors for this. So who is more likely to get osteoporosis? Um, one is women. Women are at higher risk of osteoporosis than men, especially um, postmenopausal women. So age, age is another risk factor. So over the age of 65, um, uh, women are, are at much higher risk of getting osteoporosis. And one of the reasons is because of the loss or decrease of the hormone estrogen, um, which women have before menopause. And then after menopause, that's decreased. So the risk is even higher. Um, race is another, another risk factor. Um, Caucasian and Asian uh, women are, are at higher risk of osteoporosis. Family history. Um, if there's uh, someone in the family that's had it, you're at higher risk of getting it. Uh, steroid use. Maybe you've used steroids for treatment of um, something like arthritis or um, even uh, asthma or chronic you know, lung diseases. Uh, so use of steroids for long periods of time, not just not short term use, but uh, using it over a period of time can put you at risk of osteoporosis. 
And then thyroid disease. So having a, an overactive thyroid can actually um, increase your risk of osteoporosis because the bone uh, breakdown occurs faster than the bone buildup. Okay, so we know what the risk factors are. We know what osteoporosis is. So how can we prevent these things, right? Um, is there a way you can prevent them? What can you do to prevent um, osteoporosis, thinning of the bones and brittle bones? Well, one thing you can do uh, starting from young is take enough calcium. So uh, at growing up, you know, you should encourage your children or or give your children uh, more calcium. We should have at least a thousand milligrams of calcium as, uh, as a young person. And as you get older, over 60, at least 1200 milligrams. What are some of the sources of calcium? Some of the sources are low fat dairy. So milk, um, yogurt, cheese. Um, also the dark green leafy vegetables is a good source of calcium as well. Um, canned salmon or sardines are is a good source of calcium, uh, soy and tofu, and then um, some calcium fortified cereals and even orange juice are good sources of calcium. So it is important to have a good amount of calcium in your diet. Um, Vitamin D is also very important in building the bone. So calcium and vitamin D. Uh, what is one of the major, what is the major source or a good source of vitamin D? Sunlight. Sunlight is a natural source of vitamin D. So um, the highest amount of sunlight is between the time of 10 and 2 um, during the day. So if you can get some sun exposure during that time, of course, uh, you know, being aware of the protection of your skin, uh, so, um, but sunblock, uh, unfortunately decreases <laughs> the absorption of that sunlight. So we have to be careful that, you know, we get enough sunlight, um, but at the same time, not damage our skin. Uh, cod liver oil is a good source of vitamin D, um, also trout and salmon. And what is the recommended amount? At least 800 international units of vitamin D is recommended, um, but up to 4,000 international units is safe. But I, I would say on an average, um, people usually would take 1,000 to maybe one to 2,000 international units daily of vitamin D. Um, what's another way to prevent osteoporosis? Exercise. Um, so strength training exercise, weight bearing exercises, and balance exercises can uh, help strengthen our bones and muscles and decrease our risk of getting osteoporosis. Uh, so those are really some of the ways that we talked about of um, preventing osteoporosis and um, decreasing our risk of getting these bone fractures. Um, now we're going to go on to Grace. She's going to talk about screening and treatment. That was very awesome, Dr. Hope. Uh, I like the fact that you emphasize on exercise, you know, and like we have talked about in the previous video as well, that exercise is very, very important. Weight strengthening exercise is very, very important. And uh, eating the right food is very good. So now that you have done all this and you are getting older, you are a woman, you are in postmenopause, or you are a man, you are both age 70 years old, or you are a woman or even man less than this age, but you have some risk factors. You are on those risk factors that Dr. Hope has mentioned. What are the things that you can do or what do we do to screen you to identify if you have this uh, osteoporosis or osteopenia? So what we usually do is to send you for a DEXA scan. So we recommend you do uh, uh, a DEXA scan bone, it's like a bone scan that is done to see the areas of your spine, your hip, and part of your uh, your long bones to see if there is any weakness. And in the scan, your doctor will tell you how the report goes. Is it some, uh, are you in the weak, almost getting to the uh, osteoporosis range, or you are in 
or you are normal so if you normal it means you're doing great your bones is very good and strong if you are in the weak part there are things we also encourage you to do uh, but if you have been identified that look your bones the dexter scan you do you or you have done is showing that you have osteoporosis don't don't worry there are treatment for it we treat osteoporosis and osteoporosis is treatable we want to prevent you from having bone break from fracturing your bone and that is the essence of screening of avoiding all these risk things that has been mentioned so there are treatments there are medications that we, is used to treat osteoporosis we have the bisphosphonate the denosumab and uh, we have some uh uh, we call it the anabolic medication that can help you to uh, build back your bone. But to uh, lay emphasis on one of them, which is the most common used one, uh, we call it the bisphosphonate. So maybe you've heard about this medication or you have even taken this medication before. Uh, you've heard about alendronate or zolendronic, all these big names. It's okay. No, you don't need to worry about it. But these medications can come in pill form, which you can take every morning, or you can uh, we take it once a week rather, or you take it once a month, or you take the injection form, which is once a year. So for the weekly in, uh, pill, we have the alendronate, and then we have boniva, which is the monthly one, and then the zolendronic. And uh, when you take the pill. You have to remember this. You take it on empty stomach in the morning. You wait 30 minutes before you eat. And you take it with lots of water. You take it with lots of water because if you don't take it with a lot of water and you are not sitting upright for at least 30 minutes, you have tendency that the medication can cause some ulcer in your stomach. And the way to prevent it is by taking it uh, with lots of water and making sure you are sitting upright, you are not lying down around this period so the medication can be well absorbed. So, take on point for today is one, uh, you can have weak bone as you grow old, and uh, it's very, very preventable. Uh, some you can prevent some of the risk factors, some risk factors, unfortunately, you can prevent. You can prevent your age, for instance, and uh, it's treatable. And the most important thing is to take adequate vitamin D in your diet, take adequate calcium in your diet as well. Go out, expose yourself to the good sun around the period of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And uh, screen yourself as you get to that age period or if you have the screening, the risk factors to be screened earlier. And... Uh, Remember, the more you know, the better you are. Thank you right. so much, Grace. You know, and I, I just wanted to mention one other thing that we didn't talk about. Sure. Um, it's, it, it's smoking and alcohol use. Yeah. You know, so if you smoke or you drink alcohol, excessive amounts of alcohol, then you are also at higher risk of osteoporosis. So those are some of the risk factors, you know, that are preventable um, causes. Um, from habits that yeah. we may have. All right. That's good to know. So thank you all for listening. Please like, share, let us know what you think about uh, this. And then we are here to help everyone out and for us all to live healthy and better. Till yes. Next thank video. you. And please subscribe. <laughs>